from the Sundari tree, a hardy and once abundant mangrove species, but today rare and almost extinct. A unique ecosystem, the Sundarbans is a nursery to thousands of marine species. With its rich and diverse biodiversity, the Sundarbans was recognized as the World Heritage Site in 1987. So many things to be known and explored in India and Sundarbans is definitely one of those places. The variety of um, wildlife which I've seen in like two days, I've never seen it in my life. The Sundarbans is also a home to the majestic Royal Bengal Tigers, the only species of tiger known to have adapted to the saline mangrove ecosystem. The group arrives at the Delta Camp. Global rise in temperature over the last few years has taken a huge toll on this unique ecosystem. Cyclones and storms common to this part of the world have intensified over the last few years, disrupting the normal life of these island communities. Anpur village in Sajjalia Island experienced a devastating flood last year that washed away the entire village, destroying all the crops. The champions compare the Sundarbans with their own countries. In Russia, we are facing certain problems that are related to the climate change. We have a large area over the permafrost that will be melting. Uh, we have uh, very long coastal areas that are exposed to the Arctic and the ice is melting there as well, so the sea level is rising. We've been experiencing a lot of flash floods and especially like on the coastal areas of the Western Cape, it's, been, it's really been impacting a lot of the people. The champions visit the village of Mathurakhand which had experienced a devastating flood in the year 2004. Meeting the villagers and interacting with them, the champion learn of the living condition of the people and their struggle against the elements. For the climate champions, the devastation caused by the unprecedented floods and cyclones is shocking. A new world and an entirely new experience for the champions. Here is a reality where you can actually notice that climate change is happening. They're having lots of cyclones, way more than they used to. And they said that they have almost sleepless nights because they're always worried that something might happen. And if something happens, they don't know what to do. A message that I think they gave us, and it's really important, is this we can change our future. We can still do something even if it's late. Fortunately, the village of Mathurakhand has been adopted under a climate change initiative where the British High Commission, along with local NGOs, is working to mitigate the situation and offer alternatives. Started last year, this initiative involved planting of mangrove trees along the six kilometer long bank surrounding the Mathura Khand and Amalmethi village. The focus is on food security and restoration of the mangroves. Nature's bio barriers a protection against the now frequent tidal waves that also cause severe erosion. The champions lend a hand and join in the mangrove plantation program. Adaptation is the immediate solution if you are to mitigate the effects of climate change.
the real test is when we go outside Sundarbans. At the camp, the champions discuss and share their views on the lives in the village. You know, you hear it so frequently. Possible solutions and remedies are discussed. For many, it was an eye-opening experience. You have to educate yourself. You have to know what is your role. And steps like... The next day is an early start. Another visible impact of climate change is on the fishing communities across the Sundarbans. For centuries, fishing, along with paddy cultivation, has been the major source of livelihood for these local communities. But with the paddy crops being swept away by floods almost every year, the people have now become more dependent on fishing for their daily requirement and food. This, too, is dwindling rapidly. At the fishing village of Lahipur, champions meet the local fishermen who are trying their best to adapt to an uncertain future. But here, they were in for a surprise. It was a different issue that concerns this community. Many species of fish have disappeared from this area. Their breeding patterns disrupted by the warming waters. This is a very, very interesting observation this gentleman has made. The champions were impressed by the local wisdom and the mitigation strategies the community is adopting. We think that people in Sundarbans are uneducated, illiterate, but 